Salutations! Welcome to yet another installment of my MLP Equestria Girls Redesign Series. The winner of the latest vote on the Court of Fate Discord, and thus, the best pony of this video is... Fluttershy! Just like Rainbow and Twilight, I made a mood board to collect the vibes and set to work on bringing the vision to life. For Fluttershy's body type, I actually look toward runway models. I imagine Fluttershy to be the tallest of the main six. Well, I pl am playing heavily off of the fact that she's described as naturally graceful. She also did a modeling in that one episode. Um, I believe it was called Green Is It Your Color? Anyway, I actually struggled for a while with her pose, mostly because I couldn't decide on what I wanted and the balance threw me off for a while. I decided to ha have her interacting with a bird since she tends to be more relaxed with animals and I wanted a more open pose to help draw attention to her outfit. Speaking of her outfit, I imagine Fluttershy having a comfy but elegant vintage style with a little cottagecore flair. I gave her a blouse, and which I made her a main yellow color. The blouse has a white lapel collar, which I stuck her kitty mark on in the form of a pin. That way she can move it around on whatever she's wearing. I paired her blouse with a sage green skirt because I feel like Fluttershy seeks out earthy, natural colors. I like to think that the embroidery work along the waistband of the skirt was done by her. I feel like Flutter is the type to add a personal touch like that, especially since she likes to sew. At least, I assume so since she knows so much about sewing. Her hair is pretty straightforward, long, with natural waves and curtain bangs to help hide her face. Now, something I really focused on when working on Fluttershy's face is her nose. I imagine her soft, ovalish face being contrasted with a sharp aquiline nose. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Alright, well, I've said my piece, so I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the time lapse and I'll see you again once it's done.
and slap the like button like it's like it insulted your mother and, oh and, and while you're down in the area if you'd like to see more feel free to subscribe i would love to host you in my little corner of the internet if you'd like to help decide that i used the wrong inflection there oops if you'd like to help decide which mlp character i draw next feel free to join the discord i'm sorry i have to script these or else i i lose my train of thought so fast the link is in the description below also while you're down there you can find links to my socials as well as to my coffee page there you'll find commissions which are open as well as an option to buy me a coffee if you'd like to support me there Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you got this far, bless your comment with a butterfly or spam them in order to form a kaleidoscope. That's what a group of butterflies is called, in case you didn't know. Alright, see you later. Bye-bye.